Graham, we've got two machines here, but this is they're working together as one cell. Is that correct? Yeah, no, absolutely. This is a, a cell that Chiron have developed with their collaboration with Shira Feinbau, which is now part of the Chiron Group. And what they've done is they've developed an automated mill turn cell using a vertical pickup spindle from Shira and a standard DZ twin spindle Chiron with a Flex Aluno on the other side. So it's fully automated right through. So, so you've got turning this side on this machine, on this Shira machine, and then you've got the milling on the Chiron machine, correct? Yeah, no, absolutely. What, what we try to do is just split all of the turning and the, uh, the milling into four operations. So we've got two spindles here, two hanging spindles to pick up the part from a, an automated system in the middle. So the two turning operations and the milling is then finished on the Chiron, correct. So would you, could you do this on a traditional mill turn machine in one, rather than having two machines? You could do, but a, a lot of um, applications we've looked at is that where the volume is correct, the tack time um, is sort of on the sort of substraints of less than one and a half minutes or 90 seconds. Uh, we've looked at the amount of spindles and floor space that a lot of customers are looking at, and this cell gives us the ability to be able to develop a uh, higher uh, throughput and productivity from a smaller space. So you could do, you could, you could produce the same component on one machine. However, by having the collaboration of the two machines and the automation makes the part faster, gives you more throughput, reduces the cycle times, gets more through basically. Absolutely, and I think that's a sort of typical sort of Chiron customer that we deal with is looking for that. Um, and as obviously they're looking for seconds ahead, which is obviously the strap line for Chiron, that's exactly what we can give them with this setup. We know a lot about Chiron, we've done a lot with, with you on the Chiron. Very fast production milling machines, multi-axis milling machines. But on the turning, so where, where do these sit as from a vertical lathe perspective, speed and performance wise? Well, the great thing about when um, you know, you're dealing with Chiron is that the, the performance of their um, collaborations and sister businesses is that's exactly the performance they're looking for out of the lathe as well. So certainly where we, we're looking at here is that we're using the spindle as part of the pickup. So the important thing is getting parts through the cell as quickly as possible. We're, we're now quoting more and more automated systems, less part handling on, on manual systems. This gives us the ability to do that, and a hanging spindle is, is very, very good for doing that. So are the engineering technology group likely to sell these machines as independent units or independent machines? No, absolutely. I mean, both machines are independent in their own right. So we, we could look for the correct uh, vertical spindle technology with Shira as a standalone lathe, absolutely. The same as we do when we sell normally the, the Chiron machines on their own as well. But the MT and, and what uh, Chiron have come up is calling this the MT112 because of the, the 100 diameter capability of the Shira and the DZ12 uh, from the Shira. What about the communication between the two machines when they are working together? Well, that is all done, all the HMI, all the automation, the whole system is developed and run through a software package from Shira. So they've done all of the interfacing and, and everything is done by them internally in Shira. And where are you likely to sell a complete cell like this, Graham? Well, we, we've had good success with this cell already in the UK this year. Uh, ideally, the turbocharger market is absolutely massive globally, and there's a lot of UK players involved in that particular market. And that's where we've made the first successes uh, on bearing housings, sub 80 second tack time. That's what the guys are looking for based on the volumes we've been looking at. So if it's throughput and production you need, could be the right solution? Absolutely. Hopefully, that's the sort of inquiries we're going to get for this cell.